Hello everyone, back into today's first video. We're going to do the weekend forecast for today's first video. So, as always, on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead. And, well, very interesting weekend forecast um, to start off with, anyway, for the first couple of days, because we're going to go from summer today to a winter tomorrow, or winter-like, anyway. Uh, there will be a little bit of snow in the very, very far north of the country, but, of course, it's, it's, uh, it is May, so snow isn't going to be widespread. But I think more notable will probably be the cold nights coming up early next week. Actually, there could be a couple of really cold nights on Sunday night to Monday and Monday night to Tuesday, possibly even Tuesday night to Wednesday. Uh, and you will have to cover up any delicate plants. If you put anything out that is uh, frost prone, uh, you will need to, uh, to we need to cover those up because uh, it does look so the nights will be quite cold. A lot of the high pressure dominated over the weekend, so there will be plenty of dry weather. I'll get on weekend forecast for you in a moment, just to say that the uh, week 10 day video update will be coming up uh, after this video. That will have all of the uh, regular and usual features. And tonight we're going to begin the countdown to the late spring bank holiday weekend. So we are still within the um, early May uh, VE Day uh, bank holiday weekend, but our next bank holiday weekend is within the GFS time frame. So have a look at that uh, for you tonight. Right, so let's go with it then. Oh, just to say that the uh, websites that we're using for the weekend forecast are coming from weatherout.com or westcentral.d with a radar picture from Gazweb. All of the links are within the description at YouTube and on the links page at gazweb.com. So we're starting off with a radar picture. Been loads of dry weather across the country this morning. Bags of sunshine, barely any rain through most parts of the country. However... You will notice that in the far north, yes, we have got some quite heavy rain across northern western parts of Scotland. One or two heavy showers beginning to break out across eastern parts of Scotland. This is all a sign of things changing. This is the first sign of a change that's going to be coming up over the weekend. This band of rain here is a cold front. That cold front will eventually introduce much colder air uh, from the north. So here today, so the pressure chart, high pressure is building over Greenland and Iceland, and it's starting to turn the winds into the north with a cold front beginning to head south into the northern part of the country. Elsewhere, pressure gradients are quite slack, and that could allow a few thundery showers to be sparked off this afternoon. So for the rest of the afternoon, we're going to find that band of cloud and rain across the northwest part of Scotland gradually moving southwards across other parts of Scotland. Some quite heavy bursts mixed in and fairly persistent at times. Elsewhere, Northern Ireland, England and Wales uh, will have plenty of sunshine this morning. We'll keep a lot of sunny spells going into the afternoon, but clouds will bubble up and a scattering of showers could break out this afternoon, especially through parts of southwest England, Wales, Northern England, possibly the North and West Midlands, maybe Northern Ireland too. One or two of those showers could be heavy and fungy. They will be quite well scattered, so again, you'll be relatively unlucky to catch one of those, but if you do catch one, you probably will know about it. It could be quite heavy. Uh, it's going to be a, a very warm day in the south southeast, where it'll stay mainly dry uh, today. Temperature could reach 26, somewhere like London. 26 is knocking on the door of 80 Fahrenheit. It's around 79 Fahrenheit, so really warm, if not hot, really down in the southeastern corner, but becoming much colder up in the north. And uh, temperatures across the far north Scotland, probably no better, around 5 to 7 degrees. Uh, add on the strengthening northerly wind, it'll feel very cold in the far northern uh, part of Scotland, and um, we may see some of that rain begin to turn a little bit uh, wintry, a little bit snow uh, over the Scottish mountains, would you believe, by the end of the afternoon and into the evening. Overnight tonight, that cold front will carry on pushing southwards as a weakening feature. Behind that, we open the door to those Arctic northerly winds. So the band of rain uh, with uh, snow over mountains uh, across Scotland will move southwards into Northern Ireland and Northern England, tending to fizzle out from Patria as it does so. <coughs> Excuse me. And then across Scotland, we will uh, see the skies clearing. Um, there will be long clear spells, but uh, wintry showers being blown into northern and northeastern parts of Scotland on that strengthening northerly wind. Uh, for the rest of England, Wales mainly dry uh, tonight with a uh, mix of clear spells and bearable cloud. Big contrast in temperatures in the south, probably no lower than around 14 degrees tonight. That's 57 Fahrenheit. But in the north, I mean, Scotland could well have a wise red frost with temperatures going down to uh, zero degrees, 32 Fahrenheit across Scotland. 
And then into Sunday, we bring those northerly winds southwards across all parts of the country. We've been highlighting this change for a long time. I think actually, um, Gaz Ovis was one of the first uh, websites to pick this change up last weekend. When we did weekend forecast last weekend, uh, we just hinted that uh, this this weekend that we're currently in might bring cold air in from the north and that has indeed verified so very good forecast from the gfs actually from uh, as far ago as last weekend uh, so anyway, we're into Sunday. I'm going to find that band of cloud and patchy rain continue to sink southwards across England and Wales. Very trivial amounts of rain as it comes through Wales and the Midlands. But it might pep up a little bit on Sunday afternoon across parts of southwest England. Possibly some southern counties. Could be a few heavy showers through there tomorrow afternoon. Going further north, a lot of dry weather really uh, tomorrow. Uh, sunny spells and variable cloud. But these northerly winds will feed in showers to northern and eastern parts of Scotland. Some parts northeast England too. Some those showers could well be wintry and snow is likely to fall to low levels across northern parts of Scotland with a covering of snow for some parts of the extreme north of Scotland. I do have to emphasize this is restricted mainly to the extreme north and northeast of the country. Most places will just be cold and windy tomorrow afternoon but uh, dry. Temperatures, well, still holding on to around 15 to 17 across the south coast, but really from Wales and Midlands North, as it will be a cold day. Temperatures across Scotland, for example, only like uh, 5, 6 degrees at best through northern England, probably 8s and 9s down into Wales and the Midlands, 10s, 11s, 12s. When we add on that wind, it will feel even colder than uh, the thermometer suggests. Into Monday, and we start to bring this ridge of high pressure in from the uh, northwest. So a lot of dry weather on Monday. And that really is the emphasis through the week, actually. The emphasis is on dry weather. Monday will be a mainly dry day. A few showers running down the east coast. Wintry showers still left across northern east of Bart Scotland. I think generally the showers will be fading out through the course of the day. Bright or sunny spells, the best of those in the west close to the area of high pressure. Temperatures will be rather on the cold side, uh, ranging from around 7 to 14 degrees Celsius. And watch out for a widespread frost early and late on uh, Monday. Tuesday, the high pressure still dominating weather, bringing lots of dry and fine conditions. We could well start off with a widespread and damaging frost on Tuesday morning. Monday night, Tuesday could be the coldest night uh, of this uh, period. Temperature going down possibly to minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 in some uh, rural areas in the north. And that will be cold enough to, to cause real damage to... Um, to, to growers and farmers, so you will need to cover up on uh, Monday night. Tuesday itself will be a mostly dry day with brighter sunny spells. Quite a bit of cloud running down the east coast on these northerly winds, but having said that, most places are going to have a fine day with, uh, with those sunny spells coming through. Temperatures edge up a little bit after a cold start, probably ranging from around 8 to 15 degrees, 15 is 59 Fahrenheit. I think that's about where temperature will stay through most of the week. Wednesday, high pressure seems to be dominated, however, so again, the emphasis is on dry conditions, but maybe a few showers in the north and the east, so rain showers by this point as we've lost the northerly wind, so uh, any showers will be of rain by the middle of the week. They'll be by the middle of the week, they'll be mostly light, very scattered. The emphasis is on dry weather, probably quite a lot of cloud, though, uh, with uh, limited amounts of sunshine. The best sunshine will have fully is like to be in the west and the northwest. Temperatures again, 8 to 15 degrees Celsius. Could be ground frost early and late, but the intensity of the frost should begin to ease a bit through the second half of the week as well. Thursday, again, high pressure dominates, so plenty of dry conditions, a few showers running down the east coast, perhaps mainly uh, light and scattered. The majority of the country has a dry Thursday with bright or sunny spells and variable amounts of cloud. Temperatures again, 8 to 13 degrees. And then into Friday, we just start seeing that high pressure beginning to push back northwards again. So maybe introducing a little bit more of the northeasterly wind. That could start to make it feel a bit cooler and could start to bring more and more cloud into eastern parts of the country. Again, the best of the sunshine likely to be in the west. Temperatures again, 8 to uh, 15 degrees. And we shouldn't have to worry about frost, I don't think, by the end of the week, hopefully anyway. And into the weekend, well, gradually, it looks like this particular GFS run wants to see a bit of an erosion of the high pressure. So we may start to things a little bit more showery through next weekend. Uh, and temperatures probably staying a little bit on the cool side as well. 
Slightly with charts of weather outlook. So some heavy showers could break out this afternoon. And then we've got that band of rain, of course, coming southwards across Scotland. Some quite heavy rain mixed in. Very warm in the southeast, becoming colder across the far north of Scotland. Into tomorrow, we find showers in the southwest. Otherwise, lots of dry weather. Yes, your eyes don't to see you. That is snow there being seen across the eastern parts of Scotland on the 10th of May. So uh, uh, wintry showers certainly possible for northern and eastern parts of Scotland tomorrow. And you will notice wherever you are that big drop in temperature. Pretty chilly on Monday, but a lot of dry weather. Some uh, light rain showers in the east. Could be a bit wintry still in the far northeast. And then through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, really the emphasis is on dry weather. One or two showers coming and going. Quite a bit of cloud at times as well, but there will be bright and sunny spells. Temperatures after the cold shock of this weekend will gradually begin to recover a little bit, but overall probably staying below average through much of the week and a fairly cool feel. Watch out for overnight frost to begin with, and then the frost risk hopefully diminishes a bit. Uh, later on. Right, in summary then, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, a lot of dry weather coming up, uh, and uh, yes, we're going to be seeing uh, we're going to be seeing a uh, plunge in the temperature over the next few days, and then gradually we'll get a recovery uh, later on. Uh, that's uh, weekend forecast. We'll be back later on with your uh, week's 10-day uh, video update, and that will include all of the regular features, so come back for that then. Uh, and tonight, of course, we're going to start the countdown to the late spring bank holiday weekend. Uh, but that's all for now, and thanks for watching.